Welcome back to the Walnut Workshop. Ever since I made my dust collection video, I've gotten tons of comments asking how I made my blast gates. I promised that if I'd ever have to build another one, I'd make a video on it. These things are awesome. Uh, I would consider this to be a semi-original design because I watched tons of YouTube videos before designing and building my current dust collection system. These things are compact, they look really nice, they work well, and with this design, with the back open here in this flap of foil, it's never gonna get clogged with dust like the blast gates from my old system had a habit of doing. So in the next 10 minutes, I'll show you how to build one of these awesome blast gates. I basically resawed a three quarter inch piece of walnut uh, down to a little bit thinner than three AC. And they're five and three quarters wide. It's, and then we're gonna, we're gonna make two squares here on either side here and then we're going to find the center of that and that's where we're going to uh, drill for our our hole with the uh, hole cutter here to the exact size of this sewer PVC pipe here right, so now that I've got uh, that marked I'm going to place these on top of each other and brad nail them together here and then we're going to go over to the drill press cut our holes and then it's going to be perfectly lined up Make sure and clamp it down real good so that's good and secure time to flip it over and if you'd rather use a jigsaw you can do that too but you're not going to get perfect holes There we go. That's perfectly snug fit right. It's over to the miter saw where we'll cut off each end. And we'll just separate these. We're gonna make a rip for the sides here. We're gonna set the depth of the fence. Now for the separator, I'm using particle board panel here because it's nice, it's smooth, it's very stable. Uh, it doesn't tend to bind up at all. So we're gonna put these three together and then we're gonna set the fence just a hair thicker than what we need there. There we go, that's perfect. I've installed my dado stack that's slightly thinner than the thickness of this. And I adjusted the height to, uh, eyeballed it to be about just the half, half the thickness of this wood here. We're gonna go ahead and run it through Flip it around, run it through again. That'll ensure that we have a dado in the middle and keep adjusting our fence until the width of the dado is perfect for this with a little bit of play in there so you're not gonna get bound up. All right, we browned these over, they look nice and pretty, and now we're gonna cut them to the exact length of this. Now prior to um, starting to partially assemble this, we're gonna wanna put these blocks in here. They're gonna act as a stop when we're all done to, to our uh, blast gate, so it's gonna not pull out all the way. Make sure you use enough glue because these are going to be not taking abuse, but they're going to be need to be in there solidly. I'm going to use uh, super glue with activate. It works really good for this sort of application with instant hole. And we're going to use medium CA glue here. CA glue down here and I'm going to use a piece of OSB board or a press board that'll help me to line this up properly gives you instant hold there we know it's going to be good okay do the same thing with the other side make sure to put your stop at the same end there we go. 
Okay. Now we're ready to make our press board Go over the table saw. Now we're going to rip our press board here and we're going to rip it to the width from dado to dado here. Okay. We're going to cross cut it and we want to cross cut it about a quarter inch uh, longer than the length of your blast gate because it's going to have to fit into the dado on your handle here. Now we have to uh, cut this down on the sides here. And in order to mark for that, slide it in here. Just make a pencil mark. Either side. And then we're gonna, we're gonna stop one inch short here. And you'll see why in a, in a little bit. So you can see how that's going to work. I got to sand these down a little bit because it's not riding too smooth in there. But so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut this out here so that when it's open, it's going to give you maximum dust collection. I did sand the edges a little bit here just until I was satisfied with the way that it slides. So now we're gonna go ahead and glue the top on. We're gonna glue it in with this in here, and we're gonna use wood glue this time. We're gonna be real careful with the amount of glue that we use. We're gonna apply it here and here, because if I apply it here and here, we're gonna push it down. Uh, it's gonna get glue on this, and that's gonna bind up. and I, I pin nailed it as well. Throughout the glue, pro, uh, glue drying process, I made sure it stayed free the whole time. Now it's time to make the handle. And I'm gonna go ahead and route or uh, cut a dado just like I did for the sides here, right down the middle. And I'm gonna set the depth of my dado to the depth that this is sticking out here. So now we're gonna, I, put, I rounded the edges over on this just cause it looks nice. And I'm going to glue it in there using five minute epoxy because this press board doesn't accept uh, wood glue very well. Now notice that I made this bigger than, uh, than the uh, body itself and that's because I use micro switches. So this micro switch is going to be mounted right there so it's going to turn on and off my dust collector. Now it's time to put on the uh, foil back which makes these things super awesome because then they'll never get clogged. Prior to putting on your foil tape, make sure you sand this so it's all flush. So now it's going to be oriented this way. So it's time to put our install our pipe here. This stuff works really well. It is a good adhesive, but also it, it seals too. Here, and I'm gonna apply it by finger, just a thin bead all the way around. Still nice and smooth. All right, we'll let that dry. So I screwed up, I didn't have my camera on um, installing this, no big deal. I took apart those old blast gates and drilled uh, four holes in the corners, drilled pilot holes, and then used stubby screws to screw it in place so that I could basically reduce this down to standard uh, dust collection tube size on this, on this side. So basically all I need to do is install my micro switch and it's ready to go. Micro switch is now mounted and now I just have to mount it to the wall and for that, I designed, there's many different ways you can do it. I designed this, I made some dado cuts uh, through this walnut here and just slides on there and I'm gonna uh, glue it to the sides. But it still allows a gap for that piece of foil to uh, engage and disengage. Uh, if you're mounting it from the side, it's much easier. All you gotta do is basically just glue a board right here and you, 
you can mount it to the wall. So that's how you build these blast gates. They're highly effective. They look nice. They don't take up much room and they're never going to get clogged with dust. Please post any comments in the comment section. Thanks for watching.